When the music fades And all is stripped away And I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's of worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required You search much deeper within Though the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you, Jesus, all about you I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made When it's all about you And it's all about you, Jesus King of endless worth No one could express you deserve Though I'm weak and poor All I have is yours Every single breath I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself Is not what you have required You search much deeper within Though the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it, and it's all about you, and it's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you Yes, it's all about you, Jesus I'm sorry for Lord, the pain I've caused you And it's all about you And it's all about you, Jesus It's all about you It's all about you It's all about you and It's all about you 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 I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it And it's all about you And it's all about you, Jesus And welcome as we gather for worship today, still in the middle of Eastertide, and uh, we're going to be celebrating Earth Day this week. We are um, a congregation that has uh, United Church of Christ heritage, and in the United Church of Christ, we have three loves that we are working towards in these days, and the first is uh, love of neighbor. And the second is love of creation. 
And the third is love of children. So today we're going to be celebrating uh, the love of creation and talking about what that means for us in our lives. We hope that if you're here for the first time that you find the service to be meaningful and uh, we look forward to seeing you sometime back at the church in Brookfield. We are Trinity United Church of Christ and we are delighted to have you here today and to be able to welcome you to this special service. I bring you grace and peace from God our Creator and from our Master and Teacher Jesus Christ and from the Holy Spirit who binds us together in unity and love. Come, let us worship God. Will you join me in our call to worship? We walk in wonder beneath the sun and the stars. Creation is God's masterpiece and we are blessed to share it. We give thanks today for air, land, and water, and for all the creatures joined in the web of life. Beauty is before us, around us, over us, and beneath us. We join our hearts, minds, and spirits as one in thanks and awe. streaming now is the darkness vanished away see in this space our fears and dreaming brought here to you at the light of the day gather us in the lost and the section gather us in and blinding the lane but to us now and we shall awaken we shall arise at the sound of the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, calling to life to be all you've been raised. Gather us in the darkness of Malti. Gather us in the proud and the strong. Lift up your hearts, the weak and so lonely. Give us the courage to hunt and assault. Here we will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your new light as daughters. Call us anew to the salt of the earth. Give us to drink the wine. And compassion, give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish as well and teach us to fashion. Lives at our holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings confiding, not in some heaven light years away. But here in this place, the new light is shining. Now is the kingdom, now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever. Gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, all people together. Fire of love in our blind and the lame. Call us to now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound.
please join me in the opening prayer. Gracious God, creator of all things, we give many thanks to you for the beauty and wonder of all the nature that surrounds us. May we continue to be attentive and responsible with the world that you have created for us. We remain mindful that we are not just your stewards, but also reminded that your beautiful and sacred creation is a gift for all that have come before us and that will come after us. Amen. This reading is taken from Job 12, 7 through 10. But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you, which all of these does not know, that the hand of the Lord has done this. In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. Hi everyone. At this time of our service, we would have our children's time, a chance for our youngest worshipers to come forward and to have a lesson. But since we aren't at church right now, I welcome you to Dan and Catherine's backyard. I'm sitting on our deck to talk about Earth Day. Now, Earth Day is a day the whole world celebrates to celebrate the planet, all of nature, and to thank God for creating this wonderful place we call home. And there's many things we do in, in, our, in our communities, in our homes, to help save the earth and to keep it green and glorious. At our house, we do some recycling and repurposing. Our newspapers go in our recycle bin. Our tin cans, our aluminum cans. But before we take off our aluminum cans, I take off the pop top. Recycle the can, but I save the pop top in a jar. When the jar is full, I will take this to Trinity. Trinity turns them into the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin for Ronald McDonald House. Now that house helps children who are really sick in, their house, in the hospital and their moms and dads a place to stay, especially if they're from out of town. It's like a hotel for the hospital. But they raise money for this. And at Trinity, we save these and we ask everyone to pass those in. This is a pure form of aluminum. And even the pop top from Stella's food can can go in there. Now at our house, we like to practice what we call reuse, reduce, and recycle. Now you saw how I recycle and I reuse my pop tops. But we're also going to show how we can reuse and reduce. Every one of you has one of these. Sooner or later, these are toilet paper rolls. And I'm going to show you a project you can make out of that. But first I want to tell you about stories in the Bible. Even the very, very first words of the Bible say, God created. God created the heavens and the earth. And eventually people showed up and dinosaurs and, and pterodactyls and not necessarily in that order. But what a glorious place. And we want to be, thank God for creating this home for us. So today, a project on how to reuse toilet paper rolls. You're going to need your toilet paper roll. A piece of string, twine, or yarn. Peanut butter. A knife. And some bird seed. Now I put my bird seed on this tray just so you can see it on camera. 
But to reuse all of those toilet paper rolls, and we all have them, you're going to need some mom and dad help. You're going to spread your toilet paper on the roll. I saw a lady on YouTube the other day who put it on her forehead so she could distract her doggy while she used peanut butter on her forehead. And when the doggy was looking off the peanut butter, she clipped the doggy's toenails. Now that's silly, but it worked. So I think our peanut butter here will work. Now that looks like good enough peanut butter. It goes all the way around. If you need some help, your moms, your dads, they'll help you. Then I'm going to take this and just roll it in the bird seed. Nice and thick. And we're going to cover up all that peanut butter. And then when it's done, we'll thread the piece of yarn through it and tie the string. I'm going to hang this in the bush. Now there's so much you can do to reuse, recycle, and reduce to help take care of the planet that God created for us. Won't you take a chance and pray with me now, please? This is when you close your eyes, fold your hands, and bow your head. And you can pray with me. Dear God, we thank you for this planet we call Earth. Help us to protect it and keep it clean for other people to share. We thank you all the time for everything in nature, our birds, animals, trees and flowers. Take care of us, God, while we stay safe at home. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, children. I hope to see you soon back at Trinity Church. But in the meantime, stay safe, practice recycling, keep your rooms clean, and be good for your moms, and be good for your dads. Love you. See you soon.
Romans 8, 18 through 25. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adop adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen in no hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Good morning and happy Earth Day. Uh, a couple months ago, uh, probably more than a couple months ago, when I was conceiving this, um, idea for Earth Day once again. Um, I had a whole worship ideas planned and, and a coffee hour and um, activities that, that we could talk about and, and how to um, boost our uh, green living through our church and our faith and um, Unfortunately, with this pandemic, we, we've had to change some things up a little bit. So I hope that you still get a lot out of this message and this service. And, and though we don't get to be physically together to celebrate this important day, um, that we are still connected and able to, to still celebrate. So, um, so yeah, so here we are. So um, as you know, Earth Day um, is marking a special year this year and that Earth Day has turned 50. Uh, that means 50 years and multiple generations that have cared for the environment and have tried to protect it and the wildlife that surrounds us um, has been an important cause that that's that's come past this 50 years. But 
when you think of 50 years in this cause, think of 50 years of protests, 50 years of marches, 50 years of crowding Capitol buildings, and 50 years of fighting to get laws changed to protect the wildlife and protect our air and our water sources. But in the scheme of things, just 50 years, think about all of those that came before 1970 who are fighting and all those who will come in the next 50 years who will fight for a better world. There are always going to be people to fight this cause, people like us. One of our Be The Church tenets is to protect the environment. How often do we live this out? How often do we even talk about this? This shouldn't be a once a year event, but something we should always practice, especially if we want to be good stewards of our planet. What we truly need to do is pay attention to the world around us. We need to pay attention to climate change, to weather patterns changing, to the slow extinction of wildlife, and to the land and forests that are ravaged by wildfires. We also see oil pipelines leaking into water supplies of the indigenous lands and fossil fuels declining at an alarming rate. We also need to pay attention to what is happening in our government and to the agencies that decide the laws to protect what is sacred. Paying attention allows us to connect with God's creation. It allows us to connect on a global scale and it allows us to connect with all who share this planet. As NASA's Scott Kelly put it, Earth is what we share in common. That connection, that commonality, is what is important in protecting Earth. This pandemic has proved we can work together for the common good. It also proved that humanity is truly the problem. There have been dramatic differences in air quality for the better since we have been issued the safer at home policies. Wildlife is thriving as well. And for example, sea life like sea turtles are coming to show more shore more often to lay their eggs. Despite this devastating pandemic, one small silver lining is the environment is recouping. How long will that last? Will we go back to our old ways? I hope this has been a wake up call for so many. The key word here is hope. There's hope that we can change things and keep changing things. We just, we must keep moving forward, especially if we move forward with the hope that we can change the world. Every little bit helps. Small changes can lead to big results. When I think of small changes, I think of the plastic bags we get at Walmart or the grocery store. I then think about the sea life, especially the whales, that have died only to find out these majestic creatures died from trash consumption. Most of it they find in these, these stomachs of these whales are plastic bags. We can change this by bringing our own canvas bags to stores instead. Single-use plastic has been an issue for a long time. These changes can only start with us. As I said, small changes can lead to big results. We have been entrusted with taking care of creation. God trusts us in this huge endeavor. This has always been the case and it will always be the case. This task, this endeavor is a special one. And yet we have taken this beautiful gift for granted. We have not always been good stewards. Instead, so much of humanity has decided to hold dominion over our creation as opposed to being kind and nurturing to it. At some point, man had decided they would build a pyramid and be at the top instead of being a part of the large circle of life. In fact, I saw a graphic like this once. On the one side was a pyramid, man was at the top. And above that, it said ego. And on the other side, above a circle, in big letters was the word eco. And man was part of the circle. 
It truly sums up the journey we have taken we have taken concerning the creation we have been entrusted with. Let's face it, our planet is hurting right now. Our planet is weeping because we have been viciously mistreating the creation we have been trusted with. We have been given this marvelous creation to watch over, to protect, to be good stewards of. We must practice what we preach. As Christians, as human beings, we must set the example. So please go out, make a difference, protect God's creation, be the church. Amen. In our church, we always take some time for our joys and concerns and ask people to lift up some of the pieces that are on their hearts, particularly during that time. And um, we don't have that opportunity right now, but I would invite you to take some time of silent prayer to be thinking of special concerns that you have in your family or in your life that you might wanna be praying about and praying for. And what a joy it is to us to know that God does hear our prayers and is active in our lives, bringing us to our best life. Not always giving us everything we want when we want it, but uh, bringing us always to our best life. So take a few moments of silent prayer and I'll lift up some concerns as well uh, in the midst of this. For those who have uh, contracted coronavirus and their families who are struggling with them this day, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our doctors and our nurses and all the medical staff that are on the front lines and all those within the hospital walls that are doing a great job to keep the places disinfected and cleaned and restored, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For all those who are making difficult decisions about how to uh, open the states again and what to do to keep us safe in this uncertain and unknown moment of time, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our paramedics and emergency people and funeral directors and all those who are dealing with care uh, in various ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our teachers who continue to try to teach our children, many uh, discovering new ways to do that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And for those uh, pastors and churches that are uh, seeking ways to connect with one another during this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. This morning, I want to give thanks to Chris Falk, and uh, he will be preaching for us a little later. And um, this church is blessed with many incredible lay people who do a variety of lay ministry in many ways, and so we are always grateful for the uh, ways that individuals and groups of people work together uh, to bring many gifts to our time together. So um, I ask a special blessing upon Chris in this time as he uh, brings us a word. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus gave his disciples to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. So I've not been able to really um, give announcements as council president. Um, 
we chose our positions, uh, were voted into our officer positions, and um, just when I was about to give my first announcement as council president, uh, we had to close the church. So I've not been able to really um, talk about what we've been doing or um, give updates or anything like that um, uh, via the services. And since we haven't seen anybody in person, um, the best that I've been able to do is either email or call people for um, information or um, giving updates, um, that sort of thing. So um, first and foremost, just know that uh, the council has been working hard to connect with people, to send cards, to write letters, um, to um, just to be present for those um, who need it most right now. Um, I know others also in the congregation have been reaching out to people as well. Uh, to our guests, to our friends, to um, to those who have been visiting us for a long time. So know that that is happening, and um, know that we are we are continuing to try to stay as connected as possible, especially in a time where um, we've had to social isolate. Um, also know that uh, we still are continuing to have council meetings. Uh, we did have one this this um, past Monday, uh, two weeks or yeah. <laughs> so uh, time seems to flitter by. Um, uh, we had to do it by conference call. Uh, the meeting uh, was a simple one, but it was a good way for us as council members to touch base to talk about um, just a couple of things that have been going on and, um, and mainly, mainly just to see how people are doing within the council um, and how our buddy system is working out. Um, so that was a, a good thing. I've also been um, participating in other meetings. So um, for, for church, finance, and um, I've been involved with um, still the bookkeeping and, and all of that. So know that those things are still going on. Um, also, um, a big thing that I wanted to share too is, um, as you know, our virtual worships have been going really well, um, thanks to um, Mike and Mikey and, and Kathy Shine and Pastor Susan. Those virtual worships are on the website um, so if you're so inclined, um, please feel free to share them with your friends, relatives, Facebook, any other social media you might have. Um, if, if you know someone who doesn't have internet or is unable to watch these virtual, virtual worships, um, please give them a call and um, put them on speakerphone and, and listen uh, together on, on Sundays or whenever you decide to do it. Um, share the experience with others. Um, this is a good way for us to also reach out into the community and to share um, what we do at Trinity. So uh, please do that. Um, and also in, in honor of Earth Day, um, just know as well that Trinity is is continually trying to uh, go green, um, to use less paper, less resources, um, and even trying to rein in some of our, our expenses. Um, there, there are several ways to get things now. Um, MailChimp, Facebook, website, our outdoor sign, etc. So um, uh, so if you need to be added to the, to the MailChimp, uh, please contact our office and Kathy Shine will be able to help you with that. Um, otherwise, if, if you get MailChimp and you know someone who does not, or, um, please give them a call and let them know what's going on. Um, this is just our way of living out, uh, protect the environment as well as our open and affirming status. So. Um, if anyone needs anything ever, they can contact me 
uh, phone or email or any of the council members. If you need anything, reach out to anyone you feel comfortable to. And um, thank you for um, uh, watching us today and um, we'll see you again soon. <clears throat>
I just wanted to say thank you all again for um, watching today and and um, indulging us in this in this uh, Earth Day worship. Um, the environment is one of the things I'm most passionate about, and and part of my advocacy um, that I continue with. Um, I'm one to make. I'm big on small changes to make big results. So, um, and I know others are the same way. And um, I'm glad that Trinity is um, heading toward that that goal as well. So, um, so thank you. And thank you for living out our Be the Church tenant of Protect the Environment. Now, if you could please um, join me in the benediction. Lord, help us to maintain a reverent attitude towards nature, threatened from all sides today, in such a way that we may restore it completely to the condition of brother, sister, and to its role of usefulness to all humankind for the glory of God the Creator. Amen. I will worship you with all of my heart. I will worship you with all of my mind. I will worship you with all of my strength. For you are my Lord. You are my I worship you, I worship you